Time Podcast, Season 5, Episode 20, Firebird. Yeah. So sad. In this episode, Hades seeks help getting Zelina back from Rumpelstiltskin and Peter Pan. Meanwhile, Cruella DeVille wants the heroes to remain trapped in the underworld, and Emma makes an unexpected friendship while looking for information about her family. I am your host, Molly Southgate, and with me is... Martha Southgate. And... Rob Southgate. And Hades. Now, Hades. I liked when they called them the st- the Stiltskins. Yes. Oh, yeah. He That's said, the first time they've done that. Yeah. The, the Stiltskins I like are that. always tricky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like that. Everyone calls him Rumple. His last right. name is Stiltskin. Yeah. Bob Stiltskin. That's weird. Well, you think Rumpelstiltskin might be one word. I didn't think of it as a last yeah, name. Yeah, I did too. They, they spell it as one word. Right. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was that was good. I did like that whole thing of Rumpel and his dad and and how and they how were he, doing their stuff and, and how that resolved. All and awesome. You thought he took the heart. Yes. Yes. Rumpelstiltskin. We can do this. I know we can. Wake up. I I am a you're. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where it's were going. we? Do you remember where we were? I remember where I wanted to start. Go. Okay. Um, I loved when they had the heart that he put. You thought he took it from Robin Hood. Yes. Like, yes. Ah, okay. But then he put it in Peter, and he's like, "Something's wrong." Yeah. And then he. That was a real like, shocker. To that fall was. Down. He, and Rump's like, "Did you think I'd let you get away with that?" Yeah. And he get. And he, I just some. I found something that kind of looked like a heart and filled it with the water of from the, the yeah from the, yeah, the from lost souls the river of that's, lost souls river sorrows. of sorrows mom it's the river of lost souls it's the river of lost souls have There's you been watching sorrow this show in there somewhere no oh. so when it when he put it in the heart opened phone. up oh it's the my river gosh. of lost souls but the the heart opened up and it consumed pan that was. Really great, mm-hmm. and we also had we had uh, Regina and Zelina fully reconciled to the point that that Regina was trusting her, yes, which was yeah. deserved. She yeah. was she was a new person. Uh, Robin was not happy. No, was Robin like, was not buying not. into it. But you know what? I can understand that. I mean, he goes away. <laughs> if you think about it, the last time he saw Zelina, she had chick uh, had tricked him. To have the baby. Yes. Mm-hmm. She was nothing but evil. Yes. Yeah. And then he walks in and the woman he loves is all chummy with her like, ah, she's good now. What? What? So I could understand why he was very having a hard time with it. Well, but he, he did, might have thought that he she. He did give her the baby. Yes, yes. But he might have thought that she had done something to like Regina. Like enchanted yeah. Regina Maybe. or. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? And see, he doesn't really deal in the that type of uh, magic and trickery and all that. So when he's around it, I'm sure he's a little bit more wary. Mm-hmm. You know? So. All right. Hades betrayed That says that. River of Lost Souls. Which is what yes. we said. I'm just, I'm not done yet. All right. Stay on your Google, lady. Like, on the Google. So okay. what else, Molly? What? What? My turn. All right. Okay, okay. All right. Bells in Pandora's box. Yes. yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. Did you you said Molly said, what if somebody else is in there? Yeah, but, but <laughs> can but, someone else be in there? I don't know. I no. think they were always in there by themselves, weren't they? Yes, but no, y'all know why I was saying that? Hmm. Is cuz if they put someone new in, they're only they're only allowed to be in there by themselves so that the other person goes out. Oh, it's only one at a time. If Uh, if someone else goes in, she has to come out. So I'm like, what are they going to release here? Yeah, but they didn't release Mm, anything. Nothing. So it must have been empty at this point. Yeah. So, but will they trap, will they take Hades and trap him in Pandora's box? And that'll release Belle. Or are they going to let Belle sit in there until next season? Which is possible. Mm -hmm. What was the episode called? Firebird. Yeah. Firebird. Because so, it's Operation Firebird. Yes. And that was something else. Henry, they, they found out a way to get out of there. Uh, Hades w- supposedly released them all, and a portal was going to open up, and it was in the face of the clock tower. They had a short time to get in it. And Henry was like, no, what about Operation Firebird? Mm-hmm. He didn't uh-huh. want to go. 
because he thought, hey, we have to help all these people. Yes. Well, and he set up, as Molly yes. said, you, you were saying it was like a lemonade stand. Yeah, it was like a little lemonade stand. <laughs> and, and they just sat there working with people, getting them their reconciliation uh-huh. you know, so that they can move on. But he had, a, he had a little stand set up. I imagine it would be more like Lucy's psychiatry station where he'd have it and he'd have it like, uh, it would write the like. The doctor is in. Yeah, but uh, it would say the like, author the is author in. is in. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, resolution, five cents, it would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was sitting there doing some of that then, and that was when they found out about Hades, when they went inside the, the library, and they got trapped, and then he got trapped. So the woman from the diner yes. right. put the spell on the, because she said to Cruella, Regina said to Cruella, you have no power. All you can do is, is you know, hypnotize fluffy things or something, she said. <laughs> yeah, she said, but, you have no power, fluffy. Yeah. yeah. So, All you can do is make a uh, dog roll over and beg. There you go. So you got the quote much better than I did. But maybe so you she, should Google it. So then she had that woman. Google. Now who's that? That one from the diner. That is the Hansel and Gretel ri- right. witch. That's why Regina okay. keeps saying, "Why don't you eat some kids? Why don't you eat some more right, kids?" Right, right. I want to keep calling. And her Regina's the, the one well. that know. caused her downfall. So that's why she's so mad at Regina. Yeah. Right. And that's not Re- Regina's resolution. She doesn't have to in order to go on. When she finally dies, she's not going to have to resolve with the witch that was eating kids. Uh-huh. No, you know. So that was that was uh that was her that that blocked them in or used her magic. Mm-hmm. I love it. She said the gingerbread house, which is magic, is always half baked. Uh-huh. This is I can't get past this. That's, That's awesome. a good one. So Regina then was like, "Well, what's the big deal? She doesn't have as strong a magic as I have, right?" And hers didn't work. Regina. So then they realized Hades. Yeah, the yeah. only one down there with her. more power is Hades. And so they knew that he tricked them. Yeah, because he took he the, him and Zelina had the baby. Zelina was good. She was like, "Are you sure we should leave them?" He's like, "Trust me, it's the right thing to do." Yeah, yeah. He was totally playing her to get what he wanted, and and that was the other thing. He sent them. I thought this and was he had wild. The baby. When mm-hmm. he sent them down further. Yeah. Than the underworld. And he's like, I don't even go down there. Oh, they had to get ambrosia. Oh, oh but he does. But he did, because he, they said he cut down the tree, and I'm sure it was him. Uh-huh. All they found was, like, you know, the cut down tree and then some ambrosia that was just dust. Mm-hmm. Oh, when they did the thing to see if the heart was filled with love when they weighed her heart. That was great. And then it, she just, with it out, she just started, like, almost dying. Yeah. Hmm. That was the test. And then she's like, hook, grab it. And he went to grab it, but he burst on the, in the flame. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. was the and test. I would have, like, grabbed him. Like, ah. I would have said, quick, put yourself out. Mom would have gone, Rob, what are you doing? Yeah, put yourself Molly, out. Molly, get over You're here. You're on fire. And you need to no, no, stop, don't come drop, near me. and roll. Don't come near me. P- put your so arms up. I don't think we would have passed the test. Put your arms over your head. And by we, I mean me. I don't think I would have... <laughs> If it was you and you were, I would have said, stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. You're on fire. Don't make me burn myself. Exactly. I don't want to So you're your own true love. I um, am. You know, I would would have failed. Yes. I I would have failed badly. So I want to ask about this, what you guys think of this. So Hook had to let Emma go. That was really tough. Yes. Oh, That was Titanic. But That was like Titanic. It was. Do you think that, I mean, they really played it like that's it. No, Even though she was wanting to come back to it. Well, he's still there. But uh, everything they have said. in the underworld. Everything they have said. She sees his underwear. Yeah. What? No. Everything they said was telling us this season what the rules were. Mm -hmm. There is not, they are at the point now where they're, they can't break the rules to get him out. This ambrosia, I think, was the last straw. Yeah. Now, there may be something. Maybe they can swap if, if – this might be it. They said they can swap the living for the dead. So maybe somehow they can swap they get Hades, back Hades in there. Uh-huh. for Hook, and that brings him back. They, they trade hearts. But Hades is going to do it willingly. And who's no, going to make that happen? Is it going to be – is Cruella the one in charge down there? Is she going to feel betrayed by Hades? And when she gets her chance, that's her revenge? That could be. It's going to be interesting to find out. Yeah. But I – if because he didn't move on, yes, there's always a chance. Yes. He did not move on. That's for sure. And he stayed down there. Yeah. Yeah. It was – you know, but, but Hades did make a, a – I think it was Hades made a good point that – 
his body is rotting up there. Right. Like, what is happening? How are you going to pull this one off? It's mm-hmm. it's tough. Mm-hmm. He might I don't be know. gone. He said, if you can stand the smell. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They have gotten rid of other characters this way. That we're and we have not lost a main character in a really long time. And it said there's a crushing A death. crushing loss. I think it's yes. Henry. I do, too. Now, okay. I first thought Snow, because it's got to be somebody that the entire town showed, cares about. But, Mom, they showed Emma and Regina. Crying. They didn't show anyone else. They I know. Right. Showed Emma. And I don't think Regina would have cried that hard about Snow White dying. Da- right. David, no. But I, she wouldn't oh, no, have we cried. Are, no. Emma <laughs> would have cried. But well, Regina um, would just So on our sad. on our Twitter, yeah. I did a poll, an instant poll, mm-hmm. to see what people thought. And I, I said, who do you think is going to die? Okay. And I put Henry, um, David, Snow, mm-hmm. and Robin, I think. Mm-hmm. And overwhelming response was Robin. No. That was People didn't overwhelming. care enough about him. But that was uh, overwhelming that it was Robin. For the whole town to be, it said the town is devastated yeah. by this loss. The whole town didn't care about Robin. Okay. He was hardly even there. Well, I'm just saying what I'm the I'm telling you, said. it's Henry. It's I don't think it's Henry. I don't think they're killing a kid. I think they're killing Henry. He's I not a kid anymore. He's a teenager. I don't think they're killing him. I think they'll kill him but bring him back. He can go down with Hook and then they can figure out a way to bring them both back. Oh. Yeah. Could be. I'm telling well, and, you. And you did. It's Henry. Mark my words. Mark your words now. Mark my words. No. These are my words. They're also my Oh, wait. Words. I was going to make a point about Henry before your words got marked. Go ahead and mark your words. Then I'll I'm tell gonna you. I'm going to mark my territory and my words. Okay. And my territory. That Ew. means I'm going to pee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. Uh, Henry dies. Okay. Goes down with Hook. Yeah. Then they try to figure out a way to bring them both back. Yes. Okay. I will mark those words. Now, you You're did. When you words. said yes. Henry last night, mm-hmm. I I do see how it could be. I'm not, I'm not convinced it's Henry, but the fact that he left that book there. And I know the book is the Underworld book, mm-hmm. but they made it a point of showing him it's put Henry. the unfinished book in the diner. He might be able to write his way out yeah. of it. He's yeah. going to be down there with Hook, and he's going to get them out of it. That's he didn't write them out because uh-huh. the he doesn't have the art the and in order the pen to, up there. In order to make the trade, they write Hades into the underworld. Mm-hmm. Exchange a soul for a soul. Could be. I'm telling you, there is no one else that the entire town would be sad about. The, I don't think the town was attached in any way to so, Robin Hood. No. So Henry and Snow White would be the only one. David, no. No so one else. The, Henry Snow and White Snow. would have been the only other one, and it they doesn't what... make sense. They're not going to kill a new mom. Yeah. Right. Henry, that's the two moms. They showed them both crying, and it's Okay. Henry. It's Henry. All right. All right. The internet disagreed, but I think you might be right. Henry. Henry. But, <laughs> You're just going to keep saying the word Henry? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, yes, it's who Henry. else do we have? Oh, we didn't talk about Emma's flashback. No, Emma's flashback was a big part of this, and yeah. it was cool. Emma kind of got that woman killed. Yeah, kind, kind of. of. in a big way. Kind of dead. Yeah. Um, and then we saw how she got her leather jacket. Yes. yes. Or why she got her leather jacket. Yeah. yeah, we got saw her get it, but we saw why she has the leather jacket. I, I like think... that, too, when the woman said it's armor, and then Emma made a reference at the end, and you're like, yeah, that was obviously planted there, so you'd have that, but it was done really well. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that Emma is going to get rid of her jacket, sadly. Because she doesn't need it anymore, she said. Right? Mm-hmm. But I want her to keep it. I love it. Okay. Wait, why would she get rid of it? Because she said she doesn't need it anymore. She's like, that's why. When she stood outside that freaking portal for like five minutes. I know. Extrapolating get it. Yeah. over her uh-huh. freaking life. You can talk about it in Storybook. Shut yeah. up. And get in the portal. And David's like, okay, I'm going. Oh, that made me David's like, Emma, crazy. get over here. She's like, and then, and then. Yeah. yeah. And it was going to end, yeah. going to close, going to close. And then, of course, when she went through, it was, moron. you know, she she jumps through and it closed just as she went right. through. It was like, mm-hmm. that was so close. Why? She did not need to have that conversation there. She wasn't even staring at anything. Right. Pregnant. She's just staring off in the distance. Right. Oh, let me talk about my life for a really long time for no reason. And then jump through the portal. I want to see who dies next week. I well, wonder I what we're all going to see. It's Henry. Yeah. What, what would yeah. happen... If, like, your arm didn't make it through the portal. Well, your arm would chunk off and just be laying Are there. you sure it wouldn't just suck you in? It wouldn't just suck all well, of you? Well, it probably does. I yeah. don't, you know, that's crazy talk. 
Why? Because it's made up? Yeah, it's completely made up! <laughs> yes. Like, that would be you. It's like, ah, my arm! It's like when I used to... I don't to, think we're going to get an I answer I used to, to that. ask the trainers at, at the gym when I was younger, much younger, and I'd say, what if I only work this side of my body? Did you ever can see I, that movie? I just hit, like... In uh, no? uh, The Girl in the Water, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. No. It's all these people that live in an apartment, and there's a creature in the water. Spoiler. There's a creature in the water. Okay. But one of the people that lives in the in the apartment building, all he does, he's doing an experiment, and he just lifts weights on one side. So the one side of him is, like, all wimpy, and the other side is this massive body-built <gasps> arm. I, tr- I asked. I asked. Well, people. it was and in they, that movie. And they, they said, oh, my gosh, what is there? stop coming here. Yeah, all right. What, what did they say, though? I, they... Get thee to curves. They don't. We I don't, just. They don't. They, didn't they don't want to talk let you do one sided curves. <laughs> <laughs> I just was curious what would happen. Yeah. So anyway, I wonder. So we saw. That's how I feel about the portal. I just wonder things like that. We saw Emma having this flashback. We saw her get out of the handcuffs. I liked this. I liked when she got that out. That was funny. And then oh, yeah. the woman comes out of the shower and she's like, she sees she's gone. <laughs> and then Emma just saves the computer. <laughs> Because oh, she by wanted the way, resolution. I can get out of head handcuffs, so, yeah. you know, yeah, you might as well just and work with me. It, it's cool that now we've seen what inspired her to become a bounty hunter, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not just the red jacket, but the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And and at the end, she was working with that woman's boss, basically, and, sa- and she said, hey, this is, you know, I know I'm in a trial period. Okay. But it's going to be fine. So here's here's my take on this narcissistic Emma here. But okay. so she she ha, she doesn't care the cost of her finding her parents, her finding her story out, right? So she drags this woman down with her, gets the woman killed, right? Mm-hmm. Really does, okay? Yep. Then goes and and destroys her the woman's daughter. She walks in there, opens a wound, yeah. and then goes, "Oh yeah, sorry, she's dead." Well, then she and, throws salt on Are you kidding me right <laughs> Once now? Once again, Emma was thinking that she needed that resolution. Yeah. So this girl would want to know it. Narcissist. Right. Well, yes. Narcissist. Yes. I'm just saying. She's evolved. She's not like that yeah. now. But then she totally was. She wanted She wanted the girl to be happy and know her mom. But, 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 it, but really, when you analyze she it, she was a narcissist. But you know what? I think that that also is contrasted to what you saw through throughout the episode. She learned... Mm-hmm. To, to love like that was a big deal mm-hmm. that she opened up enough if she if she hadn't done that if she hadn't sacrificed everything for hook that portal wouldn't or that door wouldn't right. open so it was the release of all that mm-hmm. that we saw yes mm-hmm. uh, and then we got to hear her five minute dialogue about <laughs> monologue, oh. monologue about she, okay she even had worse had we got to hear mom's five minute monologue about oh. emma's five minute monologue even worse yeah she didn't eat crab she had that, like... Oh, my gosh. She had that beautiful meal. And they don't eat it. And she had to run away. Grab uh, it as you run. Yeah. Like, no. Pick grab it, off. it and run. I would have shoved it in. Pay, she paid for it. So and it was just, just in a plastic ba- basket thing. They could they can Take easily it. buy those. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. She and did she not get eat one bite of hide. that meal. Made crazy. crazy. Well, actually, the woman made it so her, her car couldn't move, but still... Yeah, she had the boot. Well, once you, you have the boot, then run inside and grab that food. That nothing's stopping you from yeah. your dinner. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Eat up. Like, uh, can, you're gonna, can, or tell can, the woman, like, hey, even though you're taking me in, uh, I still have to yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, uh, do you have pancakes for breakfast? <laughs> can I, can I, do you have this to go? Can I get a doggy bag? <laughs> yes. A Cruella's doggy bag? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, I no. wouldn't want that kind of doggy no. bag. No. no. Uh, yeah. She uses the the skins. Yuck. You 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 so the skins make up the bag. We saw yeah, that's what she did. We saw movie. Rump do the thing to his dad. We saw him try to kiss because he thought that after that happened. That yeah, kissing yeah, would work. yeah. Nice try. That Rump. didn't work. That did uh, not work. I did like though that he put her in Pandora's box. That's how he gets her out of there. Well, he doesn't. He'd have to carry her otherwise. Right, but I thought that was. <laughs> she, yeah, she's much like. I thought it was effective. Mom, that's what, that's yes. what I was saying. I'm like, yeah. they're, they'd have to be lugging around a human. What if she gets caught on yeah. things? He'd have to get one heck of a baby sling or a baby yeah. Bjorn or something. <laughs> like, whatever. Carrying a sleeping like, a, like if they were Bell and his like, baby Bjorn. Like if he's walking with her. And then well, he, she's taller than he is. I think. Yeah, but if they're a he's rock. pretty little guy. She's pretty little no, too. Mom, what? mom. 
She just wears the giant heels. Right. If oh. you take those heels off, she's shorter than him, which is almost microscopic. Oh. That is so mean. Still a lot for him to carry. Yes. But, Mom, if, like, if there was, a, like, a one of those pylons mm-hmm. or something with the smoke coming out of them, mm-hmm. if she, if he walked up, wasn't looking where he was going, he could cause some serious damage to her head. Oh, yeah, yeah. clunk her on the well, head. Well, if she's upside down, you think he'd carry her, like, fireman carry over his shoulder? No, like Frankenstein. <sighs> no, carry her no. like this and her head's hanging over. Clunk. No, like, um... If you say, like, Frankenstein, <laughs> no, I swear. No, I don't know how to say it. You're going to describe, you're putting your arms out, you're describing how Frankenstein carries. You have your carries. arms out, and then you just have some, the person Draped laying across. across. Like? Frankenstein. Yes. What about on his head, like, the basket of fruit? What? Or the water in, like, Africa. What? <laughs> when the women carry it in the it's basket on their head. Oh, you'd have, like, limbs falling. Yeah. And that won't it work. It would just be, like, draped. He could just, like, scrunch her up like a pretzel. <laughs> And shove she, her on top of his hat. Mom, you know? uh, she, she would likely die. Why? Yeah, she's asleep. <laughs> she, she's... Now I know what mom does to me when I'm asleep. It wouldn't be that hard. I, I wake I up think... all sore. She's like, oh, I just tied you in a knot. I think I could do it. I'm going to try that. All Dad's right. going to try I'll, it on I'll you. I'll do it to you and then see no. if you could fit on my head in a basket. Okay. So is there anything more to this episode? No. I mean, there's so much. We just have to wait now for, going for my vindication next week when Henry dies. All Henry right, dies. I want to bring up something before we go. Okay. We didn't talk about it last on last week's episode, but one of the the writers for Once Upon a Time passed away. Mm. Yeah, Scott so Nemerfro. 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 Yes. Nemerfro. But he died 54 years old. Uh, great writer. I mean, he did a yeah. ton of shows, not just Once Upon a Time, but. You know, we love this show. This guy is a big reason. So he's going to be missed. I, I hope mm-hmm. that uh, I hope that somebody can step in and put a stamp on the show the way he has. But he yeah. really is going to be missed. And uh, I, I'm glad they put a uh, in memory of him at the end of yes. the last yeah. episode, not this one. So I did want to bring that up. And uh, not to bring us down, but I did want to, you know, give him his due on here. Because Absolutely. he's an important part oh, yeah. of this show and of our show then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So thank you to him for all. Everything he did. Yeah. All right. You can find past episodes of this and all of our podcasts at our website, which is... www.southgatemediagroup.com Yes. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, really just about anywhere that there's social media. You'll either find us under Southgate Media Group or Ever After Podcast. One way or the other. We also have a Patreon. If you go to Patreon... Look up Ever After Podcast. We're there. You can support our show. I mean, you know, it's as little as like a dollar a month. You're talking a quarter an episode to help support us. That would be really appreciated. So if you're a fan, you want to show a little love this way, that is one way to do it. Also, if you go to our website, in the upper right-hand corner of the Ever After page is an Amazon link. If you're going to shop on Amazon, click on that link first. It puts a cookie on your computer. And anything you buy for 24 hours, we get a little commission for and that's whether you're renting movies, if you're buying a jet ski, whatever you're doing. I want to buy a jet ski. We get a little commission. And it's a way to help keep this going. So please consider supporting us, either Patreon or Amazon, or buy a t-shirt on our website. All of that works. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Well, we will be back next week to find out who dies. Let's end this the way every great fairy tale ends. Happily ever after. The, the end. end.